Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. And I just wanted to start this video and do it a little bit differently than when Nomi do, uh, because it's a big day. Uh, yesterday, we ended up hitting 1,000 subscribers here on the channel, and I just want to thank you guys so much for helping us reach that amazing milestone. Uh, and we just started this channel a little over a year ago, and uh, we found our way, and we got a lot of great friends and uh, fans out there. So thank you guys so much for joining. I think we've only hit just a small uh, pitch of what we can get to because I actually looked recently uh, at the analytics here on our YouTube channel and I noticed that over 90% of our viewers come from people who are not subscribed. So if you guys do watch the videos, you do enjoy them, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps out a lot. Definitely helps us grow and get out there a little bit more. So hopefully we can have more of you join the Adult Avenger Time crew here. Something that a lot of you guys have asked before of me of, are we gonna be able to get a collection tour, a collection review from you? Uh, now I do have a lot of pops you can see right behind me. I also have the wall on the other side that you normally see with a bunch of pops. So there are a ton. So I think it would be hard to kind of go through everything that we have that would take a lot of time. Uh, so I thought about maybe doing something different and so what I want to do today is that we're gonna roll through and look at my top 10 most valuable Funko Pops that I currently have in my collection now this has changed over time whether it's because I traded some pops or I ended up selling some pops so I can get other pops in my collection as of sitting today according to the Funko app here are gonna be my top 10 most valuable Funko Pops that I currently have in my collection and these are some of my favorites as well it just works out great that some of my favorites end up being some of the most valuable I guess I just have good taste right so we'll go ahead and jump into it now one that I that is gonna be number 10 we'll start from 10 and go all the way up number 10 on our list is the most valuable pops is going to be the Avengers Endgame Loki the glow-in-the-dark Funko Shop exclusive so check that out that one's really really awesome it's a great pop I've had it over in my Marvel collection for quite a while now. I love this pop here. He's holding the Tesseract. It is a glow in the dark. I wish that he glue a little bit more than just the Tesseract, but it's definitely a really cool pop. So this pop is currently valued at $120 and it has gone up. I think at one point a few months ago, it was valued all the way at like 160, which was crazy. It had dropped down to 120, which I think is about right. It's definitely a cool pop, that limited Funko Shop exclusive, but I'm so glad we have in our collection. So there is our our number 10 pop. This is one of the few pops that actually keep out of the box. It is a little bit of a larger pop. Uh, most of them I do keep in the box, like we saw in Loki, but this one I do keep out of the box on my bookshelf, and it is one that I absolutely love that I was actually able to get by doing a trade-in of a lot of pops over at Nerd Culture. I've showed that off before. I think I did a video showing off me checking out, picking up this pop. But it is, and I have it out of the box too, it is the Star Wars Revenge of the Sith Re Duel on Mustafar with Anakin and Obi-Wan. This is an absolutely beautiful pop. I love the detail. I love Anakin and his eyes there, and I love, of course, who doesn't love Obi-Wan, that young Obi-Wan with that beard. And so they're on one of the platforms there on Mustafar with the lava underneath. It's really cool. It would be awesome if the lava did glow in the dark, but I know this is already a pretty big pop, but that's definitely one of my favorites. I love it for sure. I do have the Revenge of the Sith regular um, uh, Anakin Skywalker 2 over in my grail section as well. Uh, and then we do have a few Obi-Wan pops. So definitely a really awesome one. So that is number nine on our list. And this one's worth $120. When I got it, it was actually worth 200 and so the value dropped a lot, but luckily I didn't have to pay out of pocket for it. I just traded a bunch of older pops that I didn't want anymore, and I got that. So it doesn't hurt me much at all. Number eight on our list, we have, this is a big guy I still have in the box, because I don't know quite sure what to do with the collection quite yet. I'm trying to figure out how to display it properly, but it is the Blacklight Ghost Rider from the Funko Shop. This one got released earlier this year. It's definitely an instant grail. A lot of guys love this pop. It's not my favorite of the black lights, but it's definitely a really cool one. This one is valued at $125, which is about half of what it was just a couple months ago. So this has dropped a lot, 
but I think it's just because a lot of people were trying to resell it and with it a lot on the market it's gone down. I'm sure it will go back up especially since we've seen some of the other black light pops go up in value especially with the new ones coming out but this is definitely an awesome one the black light ghost rider. This next one is one of my oldest pops in my collection one that I got way before I was even a full on Funko Pop collector. It's from probably my favorite TV show of all time. It is BoJack Horseman. Now I should probably have this in a hard stack, but I have it in a soft protector because the value's actually gone on it up and down. Last year, no, it was like valued at like 60 bucks. Today, it's sitting at a whopping $125. If you have never watched BoJack Horseman, you have to get on it. It's on Netflix. It has all six seasons. Absolutely my favorite show, BoJack, voiced by Will Arnett. It's absolutely hilarious and really looks at the human spirit and you know the ups and downs and the troubles we make and coming back from that. And so I absolutely love this show. It means a lot to me. And so this pop. So this pop came out in 2017, as you can see there. And I actually got it from Hot Topic, I think. I remember one time back in, I guess, 2017, one of the other pops in this collection, Diane Nguyen, we see the, her right in the middle here. She was sitting on sale for five bucks and I did not pick her up because I was not an avid Funko Pop collector at the time. And now I regret it because now she costs 50 bucks. And But I have three of the five pops in the collection. I would love to get the other two, Mr. Peanut Butter and Diane at some point. But this is probably my favorite pop in my entire collection right here, BoJack Horseman. Now another one of my favorites in my collection, which is one that I actually got last year from the Pop-A-Lot shop when they were doing a claims auction. I was able to pick this one up for about $100, but it was not that bad because the value has actually gone up since then. And I was also able to do uh, one of the, I think, Sezzle Pay and pay it, up, pay it off over time, which is a lot better. This is Jar Jar Binks, and they even sent it in this hard stack. Jar Jar Binks is absolutely awesome. One of my favorite pops. You can kind of see him there if I tilt it up. Look at those eyes. It's an older pop. This is from the original Star Wars line. So the original, at least, prequels line. And uh, so this pop was made in 2013. 2013, that is amazing. And so it's, it was an amazing condition when I got it, and it still is. So Jar Jar Binks, definitely one of my favorites too. You know how much Star Wars means to me right behind me with all these Star Wars pops. And that is valued at $155. All right, so we're about halfway through the list. So I want to go ahead and take a break real quick and talk about a couple of my honorable mention pops uh, that's in my collection. Well, one of them is not a Funko Pop exactly. So I wanted to mention it, but I didn't want to make it as part of the top 10. I have it sitting right over here, actually at my workstation. Uh, and it is Funko Soda that I got from the Funko Shop and it is the Captain Crunch Chase. So it's that black and white, well, I guess kind of gray Captain Crunch. So this is a Chase. This one came from the Funko Shop. Uh, just if you want to know, I have the common sitting here too. Now this soda is worth $140. I remember about a month ago it was worth $190. So it's crazy how these values go up and down. But this soda here, and here's both of them together, the main difference, just the color. My second honorable mention that we'll mention, <laughs> funny how I said that, uh, this, this guy right here, this was one that I worked pretty hard to get, had to go all the way out to Orlando early in the morning and, uh, and grab this guy, but it was absolutely worth it. It is Walt Disney with Sleeping Beauty Castle. You can kind of see the, uh, m the phone there, the monitor there in the background, so I'm trying to not have you see all that, but they got Sleep at Beauty Castle, and so Walt there is holding Mickey Mouse in his hand, which is absolutely adorable, and then you have Sleeping Beauty Castle. See right behind me, here's the Mickey Mouse one, but Walt Disney right here with the castle is worth $105, worth every penny to get for sure, but I got it way, way less than that. I think it was $30 for the Pops at Pop Town, so definitely good, but I had to drive all the way out to Orlando to get it, absolutely worth it. Uh, celebrating the 60th and 65th anniversary of Disneyland. Let's move in to the top five pops that we have. And this number five, we got a while ago, I think last year, uh, also from Nerd Culture. We got a great deal. This another pop that's also coming up on the list later. 
and it, so it was absolutely a steal for us. Uh, the value of this pop has dropped down a little bit, but it's definitely more than what we paid for it. It is Todd Ingram from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. If you guys have not watched Scott, Pil Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, absolutely watch it. One of our favorite movies. Just came out to celebrate its 10 year anniversary back in Dolby earlier this year. Absolutely awesome. And all of these pops are super hard to get. They're like all vaulted. A lot of them are Funko Shop exclusives. And there's a lot of variants which are also very expensive. So Todd and Grimm was one that, that they ended up having at Nerd Culture. We picked this one up and one other pop from the, from this line. And this is absolutely awesome. He has those eyes, those kind of eyes that glow. It does not glow here on the pop, but it glows in the movie. And he has that number three t-shirt on as the third Evil X. So absolutely an awesome, awesome pop. Right, going into number four, we actually, another one that we have out of box. And uh, this one is one that we were able to get, uh, it's a con pop, but I was able to get it after the convention. Fortunately, we missed out of it, missed out on it during the lottery because it was super limited. Uh, but because we keep a lot of our Disney pops, uh, Disney Parks pops right here, you can kind of see the top of Indiana Jones. We have Mr. Toad. We have Peter Pan's flight. Um, we have the Yeti. We have all these different Disney Parks pops sitting right here. Uh, but this is the treasure skeleton from Pirates of the Caribbean. This one is the glow in the dark version. So you can kind of tell the skeleton is a little bit more hollow, like a little transparent. That's because it is the glow in the dark. They do have a non-glow version that's available in the parks right now. It's a Disney Parks exclusive. I've seen it the past few times we went to the parks. So if you do want it, I think they probably have it on Shop Disney. They also have it in the parks and also in Disneyland. But this glow in the dark version was an Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. And we had to pay a pretty penny for it. Uh, but currently it is valued at $160. It's an awesome glow in the dark. I've actually never showed it off in the channel for some reason, but definitely one of my favorites and sits out here uh, with our Disney Parks collection. Now moving on to number three. This is from one of our favorite animated shows of all time that's not called BoJack Horseman or The Simpsons or Futurama. It is from the regular show. This one is Rigby. So Rigby is one of our favorite characters from the regular show. It's on, a show that was on Cartoon Network. It ran for I think like six seasons. It was absolutely great uh, and the creator has a new show on HBO Max called Close Enough, which is fantastic as well. I definitely recommend watching that one. But this pop is definitely really awesome. Uh, it is an older pop. It is from 2013 as well. So we got a couple 2013 pops in our collection. But this has five pops in that collection here. And we want all of them, but they're all super expensive. Mordecai is, I think, worth like 250 Benson here, I think, is worth like three or four hundred, and then Skips and Muscle Man are worth like one fifty. Now it's valued all the way up at one hundred and seventy dollars. And I like the old look; it's so simple. I like the old look of these pops. This is the one that we also got with Todd Ingram as a part of that Scott Pilgrim versus the World set. This one is Envy Adams and a twenty five hundred limited piece Funko Shop exclusive. Now this one is really great looking. I love the detail with the outfit, the boots, the white, uh, you know, kind of coat and everything. I love it a lot. And if you didn't know, and you're a fan of Marvel Cinematic Universe, Envy Adams, played by Brie Larson, Captain Marvel. So that's a really awesome pop. This one, they did come out in 2017, so it's a few years old, but this pop is currently worth up at $220, a big, big, grail for us here now we are getting over to number one if you've watched my videos from the past month you know i just recently got this in by doing a bunch of trades at my local comic book shop when they somehow got this in i don't know who would have sold it to them or traded in because you only get like half the value if you trade it to the local comic book shop but hey this person i huh, thought they wanted to trade it in so i was the lucky guy who was able to pick it up and i did pay less than what the uh, actual value is of it now and this one is the blacklight carnage the funko shop exclusive limited edition this pop is absolutely awesome i did show it off here on the channel when i did get it as a little birthday present to myself i did trade in some other pops that i had in my collection in order to get it so i did 
end up dropping down a lot of the pops in my collection in order to get a couple of these but this is definitely worth it and now this pop is valued up at 280 dollars which is absolutely insane that is our top 10 most valuable funko pops now i thought about doing a video of maybe my favorite funko pops maybe i'll do that in the future as well uh, but I thought I might do something fun and cool and show off a little bit more of my collection. Something you don't see every day. I know some of the pops are in the background when I do these videos. But you don't always get to see all the pops that I have in my collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give you a little taste of my collection a little bit deeper. Uh, but if you guys are new to the channel, as always, as we say, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on the video and also comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite pop from our top 10 or honorable mentions that you saw today. That was your favorite. What are some of the most valuable pops that you have in your collection? I would love to hear about it in those comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching today. And thank you so much for helping us hit 1,000 subscribers on the channel. I am like absolutely can't believe it. And really, thank you so much for supporting us all this way. Uh, but as always, we'll see you again real soon.